Hey, hello everybody, welcome back to Fable 2. Alright, you can't really see it very well, but we are a five-star blacksmith. I have been sitting here for like an hour banging away my hammer. <laughs> so you guys, the artisan. You or a friend showed what it takes to be a model employee. Look at that, you got 203 swords, you guys. We just made 24,677 bucks. Look really suits you. All right. So we are a master blacksmith now. No, don't really know much about you. You're in a tired of your own. Game. All right. We bought that one. We bought that one. Are these houses? These look like houses. <clears throat> yep. Definitely houses. They both houses. Examine Dammy. Oh, it's actually a shop. Fiction Burns. Hmm. Is this the bar? Holy crap, sixty eight grand for that bar. Okay, we got the jewelry store. How much money do we have right now? 28,222. Oh, wait, let's... Hold on, hold on. Watch out, down. Let's go back to the... Excuse me now, excuse me. Excuse me, sir. Splendid. Okay, we bought that. We bought that. We bought that. <laughs> Let's see what's for sale here. This thing apparently is for sale. The coach house, 28,780. Yeah, dang. That should be expensive up in here. And what about this place? 34,000, good lord. All these big businesses, you know. Excuse me, kiddies, watch out. Okay, we bought that. We bought that. We bought that. <laughs> Excuse me, pardon me. That's a store. This first one here is a store. The potion store, right? 27,874. We could actually buy that. And what's this? A hotel? The world of chairs? Oh, it's a furniture store. 40000 for that? God damn. No, no, no. <laughs> These motherfuckers want too much money, son. Uh-oh. -uh. We only stock the very best. Oh, <laughs> we gotta stay out of that circle or else it's gonna start our next mission. I say we buy one of these houses. <laughs> buy and move in, buy and rent out. Well, and this was... Try. This was a shop? I've yeah, wondered what that's a shot. Like let's buy this house right in the middle, you guys. Let's mm. buy some real estate. And there was a couple of kids out here, so I think a family lives here, you guys. Let's buy and rent out. You want to buy the Luminous Lodge? Don't mean to yeah. be rude, but uh, I have to go. Property is yours. All right, so we do have a tenant. Tom the Stonecutter, you guys, is our person living here. Our rent is seventy-eight dollars. Can't I like upgrade it or something? Ooh. Enter. I like it. Redecorate. Amaze friends and foes. Oh, we have to. You have to buy stuff for that. I get it. A Exit. Title. Let's make sure his rent is good. Okay, 0%. We're not trying to take advantage of nobody here. So we just bought that house there. There it is, you guys. Yeah. We bought that house. It's ours. Well, the last stall... We have a house now. Like, not for us, but one that we're making money off of. The last stall here to buy in Bowerstone is this one right here. 
the Bower Stone Jewelry Stella, you guys. 8,000, or 6,893. Let's go ahead and buy that. Boom. How much money is this going to make us? 71. Not bad for that one little property. 71. Not bad. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, little king. What's this? Another house? Bit of skirt. Oh, it's a clothing shop. This Plimpington Manor. It's out of our price range. We got 13 grand left. It's a barber shop. Examine, damn you. Fucking examine! Nineteen thousand for the barber shop. Here's a couple nice twin houses. That'd be nice to grab the both of these if we could. Miracle Manor. Oh man, these are thirty thousand dollar houses. Oh, we are in the wrong neighborhood. <coughs> I know there's more houses over this way. Thank you. Oh, what's this? Pants. Uh, it's obviously a, a store. A pant store. Oh, is this two attached houses? Yo, attached houses. How much are these? 4,700. That's actually mad cheap. How much is the other one? If the other one is 4,700, oh, we're in business. Get out of the way, get out of the way. Oh, watch out, King. Examine, damn you. 9,076. Let's buy this and rent it out. The beating hot, you guys. Boom, sold. We have two houses and all of the stalls. Hold on, dog. And how much is this? 4,700? Yeah, we can make a few swords and buy this. Hold on, hold on, hold on. The blacksmith always would let us make new swords. We're a master blacksmith. Oh, <laughs> we only need to make a few. That's how you make a blade. Okay, I'm, I'm zealous, I'm zealous. Hold on. <laughs> I need to chill out. Um, so, okay, look at that. We're making three hundred twenty dollars. We've sold swords to all um, the greatest warriors. What, like whenever we get paid, we're making one hundred and ten dollars a sword. So yeah, just give me a couple of minutes here. We'll make a few swords real quick, and then we'll be able to buy that house. You're doing a good job. Oh come. On. What? <laughs> All right, hey. You'll never make a blacksmith doing that. Well, yeah, I know the ball is doing the damn Xbox fucking glitch <laughs> bullshit. Maybe high, but we do live in an affluent society, you know. All right. I'm being too zealous. It's because I'm recording now. Yeah, we just need enough money to buy that other house Keep there. Keep hitting it like that. And I'll be a happy boy. Because then we'll have three houses and all of the stalls, you guys. That'll be huge to have at the beginning of this game. How may I help you today? This will eventually pay off. Come on, man. This one will eventually pay off big time. Me a motherfucker! It's like the game knows I'm trying to do something right now. <laughs> you game. know how to use a hammer? The game's like, nope, can't let him buy that last place. One more. I don't care about equipment too much, uh, you guys. If you're wondering. We will eventually find some cool stuff. Sail! Sail! What I do care about, though, is having a constant source of income. It's shaping up nicely. We need income. Well, like, we seriously need income. 
I'll keep going here and until I fuck it up. There it is. Let's get out of here. <laughs> you know. Alright. Thank you, darling. Thank Very you, darling. Sexy. Yeah, I'm on. All right. Where was that? Oh, that was up the other alley. Show kids. I'm nearly Rah. nine years old. <laughs> Rah. That was the saucer. Buy and rent out, you guys. And this place is making us 45. Ew. Well, let's finish searching Bowerstone, you guys. We never did. Oh, no, no, no. That's definitely going to go into the next area. Come on, Dougie. Where we never went was, uh... Oops, sorry. Oh, jeez. Watch out, guys. Yeah, where we never went was uh, up here, all the way. Right, Doug? That's also a new area. Yeah, we got some pretty cool gear to start. <laughs> you know? Amazing! Quite uh, striking! <laughs> you guys leave my dog alone for a second? Come on, boy. Oh, we're looking for treasure boxes. But I know you saw that guy back there. He was cool. Everything is great. Now, this is a pretty long alleyway. If, uh, yeah, oh, there's a shop at the end of this place. I'll have to be sure to check that out. It's closing time for all shops. Oh, that's nice. <gasps> what is it? What is it, boy? Where is it, King? Right here. Oh, good boy. Understanding the Albion Psych? Psyche? Chocolate! Ah, it's only a one star book. <clears throat> it's only worth 40 bucks. I thought maybe it was going to be a really expensive one. We did get some chocolates there. They were getting 366 bucks as our paycheck, you guys, from all the properties that we have. 366 gold, that is not bad at all. Yo, a seller. Whoa. Steel? A popper hat? <laughs> Can I just leave it there? I don't want to do evil shit. No, <laughs> we literally got 10 evil points just for doing that. This way, doggo. Hey, look, what's this? Is this the shop? Yeah. Oh, this is, yo, Tom the Stonecutter, you guys. That's the guy that lives in our house in the plaza. With the kids, with all the children. He's got a bunch of kids. Anything else, dog? No? Well, we'll have to come and buy his property from him, too, so that he can live, his, live a free life and take care of his kids and everything, you know? There's so much to do in this game. Excuse me, ma'am. All right, let's go see Teresa. I have been awaiting your return. Happy now. I apologize for the delay. Events are moving quickly indeed. Think about your life. All the places you've been, the people you've known, everything you've done. How many moments, how many memories. This game's gorgeous. Fag and his men. They had just as many. And now they have none. Because of you. Do you feel the weight of responsibility yet? Sure. 
Your enthusiasm will have its uses, but mind it does not consume you. Come. The world is better off without Thag, and certainly Bower Lake is in your debt. But to really see the impact of your actions, you need look no further than Bowerstone. It has changed much since you lived here, particularly Old Town, where you spent your childhood. Never forget that even the simplest choice can have far-reaching consequences. Hey, where are my uh, gloves? Huh. All right then. Look, that is where Lucian is now, the tattered spire. My God. The spire was intended as a conduit for all the magic in the world, granting the kingdom's ruler a power so great he could bend reality to his will. On the day it was completed, and the first wish made, a light bloomed inside, though its nature could not have been darker. Albion shattered. Centuries of civilization were wiped out in moments. Its people erased from existence. Some say that this was the first wish, an end to a hollow and corrupt world, and for a purer one to take its place. Out there. And now the spire rises once again by Lucian's hand. Lucian found documents which foretold the coming of one who would stop him using the spire. My God. That is why your sister died. And that is why you will face him. The cards have shown me this. Here. Take a look. The fate cards, you guys, my God. These cards offer glimpses of what your future holds. Each of the three heroes you see in the cards is a step on the hidden path to Lucian's downfall. And the life force of heroes, will itself, is the key to the Spire's power. Lucian's agents scour the land, even as we speak. You must find the three heroes before Lucian does, because you are the fourth, the one who will bring his downfall. I have seen a vision of a holy ritual in Oakfield. Salvation, though bittersweet, is delivered by one of incredible strength. Speak to the abbot at the Temple of Light and see what you can learn of this pilgrim. 365, baby. The road to Oakfield will be dangerous. Good luck. I don't need luck. The relic. Use the card to listen to what Teresa has to say about it. The relic, an ancient device of incredible power, created by those who foresaw the terror of the spire. It waits for one with the strength to bear it, and for the three who can summon it. This hero has great spirit and awesome strength, but it is not yet unleashed. The pilgrim's path is to the north. To the north. A pilgrimage. Excuse me, madam, you look a little bit intoxicated. <laughs> the mage. The mage follows where wisdom leads, but always into conflict. Making an ally of this hero will cost you much. Stop. <laughs> the choice. The choice. A terrible decision waits in your future, and just beyond it, a glorious reward. Alright. We're just listening to all of our cards right now. The thief. The thief. This hero harbors a soul without a glimmer of light. I see choked weeds and water. He lies just out of reach. Bit of a shortage going on in some of the local shops, I hear. Yeah, where are my gloves? 
Bowerstone Old Town, you guys. Let's go and check out the uh, garden first. This game is all about exploration, and this is a long play, so. Well, full, it is now full play. Bedtime. Full play. Full play is different than a long play. Yeah, Fairfax Garden, you guys. Let's check this place out real quick first. usually a smart idea to go everywhere first <laughs> before actually like following your destinator. Oh hey, yeah, we were supposed to check that place underneath the bridge. Right, Ducky? Rifle trader? Looking good. What can I do for you then? Mm -hmm. Rusty turret. Oh, she's got iron. Twelve hundred and fourteen hundred bucks. An iron turret rifle. Oh, look at that thing, man. That's a sick rifle. We have some stuff to sell her. No? That's worth one hundred and fifty, two hundred and fifty. We could sell the rusty mace. Oh fuck yeah, dude. Bring anything else you don't need. How much was this? 1400 How come I can't buy it? How come I cannot buy it? Oh, 1700 I was looking at the uh, base price. Pardon me. <laughs> Pardon me. Yeah, we have a, uh, the uh, cutlass. So we'll sell the rusty yeah, longsword. I'm sure I can sell that again. Oh, I'm sure you could, but I'd rather like to buy this very nice rifle that you have here. It's expensive because it's good. Yeah, I hear that. Oh, hell yes, you guys. Look at this. Here you go. Now, now, enough of that. I was just looking at my new rifle. Everyone calm the fuck down. Don't try my patience. Oh, gangsta. Anything around here, doggy? Uh, walking. Just looking for treasures and stuff, you guys. Can I go in there? The door is locked. I'm coming, I'm coming. Right here. Yeah. Oh, good boy. What was a good boy? The collar of regality. Tell a lot about a person by their dog's collar, that they have no taste, don't know how to handle money, use the collar in your inventory to put it on your dog. Dog tricks the wave. Right, we taught him the wave. Uh, to deserve to be called a dog lover. Oh, we can now get that nickname for free. Dog lover. Uh, there he is. Dog lover. Treasure? Dude. 
Whoa. A demon door. What's up? And just where do you think you're going? Oh, I know all about you. Think demon doors are your little toys to open as you please. Well, not me. I am the greatest, grandest, and oldest of all doors. And I open to no one. Wow. So run along and find another sentient piece of rock to bother. Well, that's not very nice. I'm the original demon door. The only one that matters. All the rest are pale imitations. The door in Bower Lake fancies itself some sort of artist. <laughs> I'm coming. <laughs> so good. What you got, buddy? A mood ring. Ring changes colors to reflect its wearer's mood. Expect it to be red most of the time due to your beloved anger at receiving such a worthless ring. <laughs> Never know. Might be worth a fortune. Find the treasures, King. Find the treasures. Huh. Good boy. <laughs> you are the man, King. Let's get it all, baby. Hundred bucks. He arrived in the village. This lock. Yep. No bad. No bad. <laughs> Always nice to see. Activate. And then. Empty statue platform. There was a sculptor who could create a statue of you to go here. Mm. Mm, paid. Taking a shortcut by a hillside, Jump. found a spot in the entrance to a cavern. There was something oh, quite oh, much appreciated. Oh, <laughs> Son of a bitch. Love it! Nice. Appreciate it. All right, cool. Found a couple more things in there. Oh yeah, that spot underneath the bridge, you guys. What was that? Oh, the bard guy. Gargoyle's Trove, you guys. Let's see what the hell this is. Bum, 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 bum. Okay. 
crazy mushroom. Let me guess. Locked? Not locked. Treasure box. Come on, Duggett. Please get out of my way. It'd be very nice if you moved. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. So the first door is not locked, but every other door is. <laughs> you know? Looking around for something. Doesn't look like there's anything to shoot. Mm. Guess we're gonna need some type of key <clears throat> or something to get in there. Come on. Oh my god, please. Why do they add mechanics like this in the video games? Swim, swim, swim away. Now the dog's blocking me. <laughs> Jesus. Well, yeah, man, we are at that time again, so I'll have to say thank you for coming out and watching this episode of Fable 2. Do me a favor, guys, leave a like on the video. Maybe even subscribe to the channel of that I freaking love you, and I wish you the total best. Hope you guys have a freaking awesome rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next one, as I always do. Uh -huh. Oh, look at us. We're beautiful. <laughs> yeah, but I'll see you in the next one, you guys. Have a good. Bye-bye.